pandemic and the economic fallout has left a number of Americans in need of assistance. Food banks, where low-income Americans can turn to survive, are now struggling themselves. They are overwhelmed by people desperate for help. It's the speed that this is hitting us that is making it so difficult to contend with. The current inventories that we have in place were not designed to serve the numbers of people who need help now. Hardly ideal, then, that food bank donations have been cut in half at a time when queues are growing rapidly. In just one week, over three million Americans have turned to meal centers, banks and kitchens for any help that they can get. It's an issue that goes far wider as well. Production and American agriculture is on the brink. As a result, it means that the food supply is fast becoming a global problem. We risk a looming food crisis unless measures are taken fast to protect the most vulnerable, keep global food supply chains alive, and mitigate the pandemic's impacts across the food system. In a situation like this, the policies of individual countries can have a global impact. In the United States, here, essentially, workers are not getting any extra pay for the risk they take when it comes to coronavirus spreading. As a result, agricultural workers are demanding more as they work to keep the shelves of our supermarkets full. It's almost overnight that food workers went from being an afterthought in people's minds to suddenly being essential work. It should not have taken a pandemic of global proportions for us to realize that food workers literally feed us. Some fear that this could be too little too late, with the supply chain already in danger of breaking down. It seems that amid the pandemic, the very fabric of everyday life in the United States is coming apart. Unfortunately, our federal government, despite having all the warning signs, did not take them very, very seriously. And they did not do preliminary planning that would prevent the uh, need for people to have to wait online and have to depend on food banks. In a moment like this, this is not just um, uh, uh, poor people or low wealth people who have to depend on this food. This is affluent um, elderly people and affluent uh, middle class people who um, have recently been laid off. We also have farm workers who are not protected and are not being given the uh, pertinent information that they need to protect themselves and their children. Many of these farm workers are also undocumented people. And even the uh, phase three stimulus that we just passed in the United States does not apply to them. So they are not covered, they're not protected, they're ill-informed. And that is um, a, a recipe for a really, really big crisis. If we don't have people who can harvest our food that are healthy, um, that food is going to rot, that food is not going to be distributed. COVID-19 is basically a magnifying glass, an elucidation on all of the systems in our country that were already in crisis, the food system being one of them. This is Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. And it says, At that time shall friends fight one another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear uh, with, the, with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours shall they shall not run i'm going to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim al shaiwa over karkwadash which yahweh is the heavenly father's true name yahweh shies from the world ignorantly calls jesus christ it's his true name and rakakwadash is the holy spirit i'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who will teach well in the scriptures and salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity and we just saw that clip from rt and you know they were um pretty much telling us that these, you know, food pantries, they're running low on supply, okay? The uh, demand is um, increasing, you know, drastically at such a rapid rate. And on top of that, you have, you know, lower food donations, okay? So we're starting to see that these storehouses, they're, they're becoming unsown, right? These full uh, uh, storehouses are becoming empty, okay? And this is all biblical prophecy, you know, we just read the read it in the second Ezra, the sixth chapter here, in the twenty second verse. And then things aren't going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. Okay, you're going to see more people getting laid off, which means more people are going to run to these uh, um, you know, uh, food pantries. All right. 
And look, you know, with the lack of food and the lack of natural resources, what's that going to lead to? Complete anarchy, chaos, uprisings, you know, a lot of home invasions, robberies, okay, uh, um, you know, theft, so on and so forth. That's what this is uh, uh, all leading up to, okay? That's why I said there in the 24th verse, uh, friends are going to fight one another. And the reason why is because, as, as it says here in uh, 2 Ezra, the uh, Second Ezra, I believe it's the 15th chapter, which we're going to get right now. It talks about how these things are happening because of the uh, uh, lack of res uh, pretty much the lack of resources, okay? Okay. Um, let me see where I should start. No, I'll just get straight to the point. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed. The, uh, the houses shall be destroyed. Or Salak, he says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And that's the reason why this is all going down. Because of people's pride. Because for the longest, people didn't, you know, ever think uh, about thinking the Most High. All right? For the, the daily bread that they get. All right, the roof over their head. They took all these things for granted. They, you know, uh, praised other gods and idols. They, um, they, uh, um, you know, uh, dabbled into different philosophies and ideologies. Okay, rather than obeying the law, statutes, and commandments the Heavenly Father has ordained. So this is why this is happening. This is why these things are happening. And it says here in the 18th verse, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what's coming very soon. That's why I mentioned that home invasion. Look, the the, the, the first people that are going to start invading, um, you know, uh, uh, these uh, basically doing home invasions are going to be the neighbors, those that are close by you. All right. You know, the, the local people in the neighborhood. All right. They're going to notice that, you know, you have food. You know, that you have water, you know, supplies, you know, candles, flashlights, medical supplies. So what are they going to do? They're going to raid your home. All right. You know, at first they're going to start off with what? The grocery stores, you know, the um, the pharmacies, you know, things like that. But once these places run out of supplies, they're going to go to those who have the supplies in the, in the area. And then after that, once, you know, the, the, the particular area is wiped clean of the natural resources, people are going to go to the following neighborhoods. And it's, and it's going to get, you know, uh, very chaotic and, and, and horrific out here, you know? It's going to be like, um you know, the movies like The Book of Eli, The Road, all right, The Domestics, you know, things like that. If you've ever seen those movies, it's going to be, that's just a, a preview. You know, The Purge, all right, these are a few things. You know, a few movies that um give examples of what's going to happen, okay? And as we see, you know, the, the, these people are about to get hit with this famine, all right? Because famines are coming back. They're pretty much here already. I want to get, um... Let me see which one I should get. No, I'm going to get this in uh the book of Mark. Yeah, I'll get this. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. It says, For nation shall rise against nation. And when you look up that word nation, is ethnos in the uh, the Greek, which means your ethnicity, your race. So there's basically going to be race riots. Because that's what happens too when um, when uh, um, situations like this happen, uh, happens, like what we're going through. You know, these uh, pa pandemics, these um, hard times. You know, when anarchy arises, what happens is people flock to their race and it becomes racial real quick. Things turn racial uh, very quickly when um, society breaks down, okay? And it says, in kingdom against kingdom. And that goes into, you know, these uh, nations, like these empires versus each other. And we're seeing that, all right, that World War Three is getting built up. You know, with all these things going on with this COVID-19 and, you know, uh, all these other events happening especially the COVID-19 that's you know basically a huge cover-up for what's 
going on worldwide. There's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes too, you know, that, that, that's not really talked about as of now. Because this is the main focus, this is the uh, distraction, alright? It says, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. Okay, so there's going to be famines and troubles. When, 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 when people can't eat, they can't drink, alright? People do, uh, during desperate times, people do desperate things. So many troubles are going to arise from this. Many troubles are going to arise. Okay? And it says, these are the beginnings of sorrow. Okay? These are just the beginnings of sorrow. We're just in the beginning stages of what this place call, uh, or what the scriptures call Jacob's trouble. Alright? Spoken about in Jeremiah 30 and 7. Okay? And all these things have to happen before whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shai. When he comes back to his second time, all right, upon his second return, all these things must ha uh, happen. Evil, evil times, perilous times must come to pass. And we're entering into those stages. You know, here in the United States, this whole um, COVID-19, this coronavirus has been, you know, um, has had this place, you know, shut down for what, about two weeks now and some change, roughly. And, you know, well, it's, you know things are still somewhat civilized, but... Give or take another two weeks, you know, to a month. Let's see how this place is going to be in about two two weeks to a month, okay? People uh, are losing jobs. They're, they don't have any money, all right, to pay for their bills. And we're not even just talking about, oh, rent, their car payment. People can't even pay for food. That's what's becoming um, um, a reality now. People cannot pay for food. And that's the, you know, the main thing that, that, that gets people, you know, that, that's your basic necessities. If you don't have food and water, you can't, you know, so-called live, all right? So it's about to get real ugly out here. All right, we, we've been, you know, we've been saying this for years. Look, prostitution is going to be on the rise, kidnappings, okay, blur, uh, burglaries, home invasions. All right, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, people getting, you know, stuck up. You know, uh, you're going to have... um. You know, uh, um, all sorts of things, man. Okay? Coming very, very soon. Alright? And uh, hopefully this was edifying. I just wanted to give a quick report. You know, they, 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 these uh, these people out here, they're, they're, they're about to start hitting... Uh, you know, they, they, this, these families are about to start hitting them very soon. It, it's about to, you know, hit their front door. It's about to, you know, knock on their front door very soon. So, you know, hey, those who are, you know, listening and learning, who are in this faith, hey, stay prayed up, you know, keep doing the work, stay, you know, faithful, you know, don't get distracted, and just, you know, uh, um, you know, keep fighting, and with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you, how about Shemiel Shah, also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there, Shalom.